Hello and welcome to Visa Port Educational Videos by Ahsan Ahmed. Here we are doing O Level Physics. The course code is 5054. And this is the sequence of topics we have, and we are currently doing topic number 7 pressure, and this is part 5. This is the last part or the last lesson of topic pressure. As we have dis been discussing up till now that there are some learning outcomes or the learning objectives given by CIE. So today we will be doing last two learning outcomes. Which look like this. So it's H and I and the first one we'll be looking at is the learning objective H. Describe how a change in volume of a fixed mass of gas at constant temperature is caused by a change in pressure and applied to the gas so this is very tricky very messy kind of statement which we will try to break into the parts to understand it so here if I give a caption or a heading so the perfect heading for this learning outcome is Boyle's law so under this Boyle's law, it states that for fixed mass and temperature, so understand this like when I say that we have a, a gas which is trapped in a container and in that container, uh, the mass is fixed. So we are not letting any molecules to escape away or we are not adding any extra molecules as well. So it's fixed mass. So the number of molecules are not changing at all. And the second thing is temperature. So we are not changing or we are not getting affected this gas uh, by the change in the environment or by the change in temperature at all. So both of these things uh, should be fixed, should be frozen, should be constant. If we can manage this, then the relationship between pressure and volume of a gas is like this. So we can say if the two conditions the mass and the temperature can be set as fixed so pressure will be inversely proportional to volume so that means if we are increasing the pressure the volume will be decreasing and vice versa to understand the same phenomena we will look at an animation so here's the animation uh, you can see there are certain parameters here which we need to look at uh, so the very first one is the mass over here. So I have just highlighted the mass part. So you can see that we are not injecting any further gas and or the molecules in here. So we are keeping our mass fixed. The second thing is temperature right at the bottom. The temperature is not getting changed as well. So it is also fixed. Now see these weights over here. When we put these weights here, we increase the amount of force that means we are increasing the pressure so as we are increasing the pressure it is compressing the molecules and decreasing the volume so as we said that pressure is inversely proportional uh, to the volume yes so that's what inversely proportional is all about now let's understand that how Boyle's law comes up in terms of mathematics. Mathematically, the Boyle's law is very simple as well as it can get sometimes very complex. So we need to understand it properly to make sure that um, we get it very clearly. So as we said that pressure is inversely proportional to volume, this statement can be written in mathematics like this. Now here we are going to do a slight change uh, which needs some mathematical background understanding. If not, I'll try to give some review. So what is that supposed to mean? What happened just there? So let me tell you a very in, in a very simple way that this this over here, this this alpha kind of thing is the sign of proportionality. 
and this is something which is very familiar to us this is sign of equality so whenever we replace sign of proportionality with sign of equality to make an equation we add a constant yes we add a constant in our equation this is what just happened here and if we rearrange this equation so we can see that pressure and volume product is equals to a constant k and as we know that constant is a constant value which does not change at all it's the same value so what does that mean uh, we'll discuss that in the next slide but before we finish this here we need to see or remember that P here is representing pressure V is volume and K is a constant now as in the previous slide we saw that PV is equals to K or a constant value so that means if a product of P and V pressure and volume is a constant which means same value then for the same gas different values of pressure and volume if you multiply them for their different values uh, they should give same value every time what yeah that might seem a little strange what I just said um, so before understanding this big equation here P1 V1 is equals to P2 V2 uh, let's do a quick experiment which might um, give us a more understanding about uh, this assumption or hypothetical uh, kind of situation we just have developed here so imagine this container uh, these small blue molecules over here they are representing gas molecules so we have enclosed or trapped uh, a gas in a container and on the top this black color here is, is showing a seal so initially we have applied a pressure of 50 pascals and due to this pressure uh, the volume of the gas is limited to 2 meter cube now if we multiply these two values pressure and volume 50 into 2 we get 100 and just if we simplify the unit it's like 100 newton meter at this moment um, if you just ignore the units and just remember the number which is 100 that is the key number which I want you to remember so here the product of pressure and volume so the product of pressure and volume is 100 now let's look the same container but with extra amount of pressure so we have doubled the pressure due to increase in pressure as it's inversely proportional to the volume the volume will decrease and it's one meter cube now if we do these calculations again which is pressure into volume which is 100 to 1 we get 100 again and if I increase my pressure with double the value again which is four times the very first pressure is 200 pascals so the volume will decrease again and it will be 0 0.5 meter cube can you see the ratio here can you see a proper order so every time the volume is decreasing in such a way that it is always equal to the initial value yes the product of pressure and volume volume is same that is 100 100 100 so this is what we were trying to say so let's let's see again what we were doing in the previous so we said as PV the product of pressure and volume is equals to a constant value a same value each time then for the same gas different values of pressure and volume should give same value so if it's we can say if it's P1 and the relevant V1 if you multiply them together if we uh, take a product of them together they should give us the same answer as P2 V2 so this is what we get out of Boyle's law considering that the temperature and the mass is constant now is the time when we have to recall and use this equation in 
uh, a numerical question. Okay, now is the time when we will use this equation in the question. So here's the question from past papers and we will just quickly jump into the question itself. So here are the values which are given to us and if I just read it out quickly that compressed gas from a small cylinder inflates the airbag. The cylinder contains a volume of 600 centimeter cube of gas at pressure of 1.4 into 10 to the power 7 pascals. So this is the first volume value and the pressure value. After collision what happens? The cylinder and the inflated airbag have a volume of 30,000 centimeter cube. So this is the information which is given to us. What we need to find out is the pressure of the gas. Assuming that the temperature is constant. So that is very important thing in Boyle's law. So to calculate the pressure, first of all, we need to spell out what values we have. So we have P1, V1, P2 is something which we need to find out and we have V2. Now using the equation we just have derived earlier. So we just simply rearrange it to find out P2 and putting in the values and just simply cancelling out the units. So we get our pressure value which is 2.8 into 10 to the power 5 pascals. So yes, this is how we use this equation and how we derive this equation at the first place using Boyle's law and the relationship between pressure and volume. So um, this is about it of the whole pressure. In the end, I would like to uh, give credit for the royalty free animation I have used in this video and this animation was from NASA's Glenn Research Center under public domain again from a huge resource of www.commons.wikimedia.org and in the end I would like to say do subscribe our channel so you can get our next upcoming chapter which is to our topic which is topic number eight um, energy transfer and sources of energy and many upcoming videos thank you very much have fun day enjoy learning take care bye